Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. Uh, this episode we have titled Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread. And we're not talking about the white, really not so good bread from uh, the grocery store. I mean, that's that's pretty, that's, it's not very good bread. It's it's not very nutritious, I'm pretty sure, right? Uh-huh. I mean, you pick it up and it, it weighs nothing. It's pretty light. <laughs> it's um, a cloud. We're not talking about that Wonder Bread. Okay, now you're probably thinking, Wonder Bread, oh, you might be going to John 6, and you are correct! Uh -huh. John chapter 6, the Bread of Life Discourse, one of the mm -hmm. most awesome sermons Jesus ever gave, but it really turns people's stomachs. It does. Yeah, it's a it sermon does. that begins with like 5,000 plus people and winds up with 12 people. Uh, and, and why is that? Well, we're not going to go into all the details, but... Uh, we want to talk about why they were seeking Jesus and what really mm -hmm. kicks off the sermon uh, in the first place, this bread of life mm -hmm. sermon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? they're seeking Jesus because, I mean, he gave them food. He gave them bread. And there was, you know, how many baskets? Twelve baskets left over. <laughs> so, Twelve doggy bags. Uh -huh. So many exactly. leftovers. I mean, he took a little kid's Lunchable and made it, you know, huge. Yeah. So yeah. they're seeking him. And... I mean, is there anything wrong with seeking from Jesus what is good? I mean, they're they're looking to Jesus for bread. For bread, yeah. And he, he even says so. Uh, mm -hmm. he, he knows exactly why they are looking for him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's the following day. So he does the miracle, mm -hmm. and he walks across the Sea of Galilee, you know, gets in the boat with his disciples who are getting swamped by the waves. And uh, John says immediately once he got in the boat, they're at their destination, mm -hmm. Capernaum. And, uh, and the people are like, where did Jesus go? Because, you know, they, they realize, hey, you know, we're full right now, but we're going to have rumblies in our mm -hmm. tum-tums mm -hmm. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And the next day they find them mm -hmm. in Capernaum. Hide and go seek. Hide and go seek. <laughs> uh, and they find Jesus and, you know, they're wondering how he got there so quickly because, well, they didn't see him get into the boat with his disciples. And they're like, we were in boats, Jesus. You were on foot. There's no way you could have gotten here faster than we did. Well, but they don't even know he walked across the sea. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, he took a shortcut. Um, and, uh, and he doesn't even answer their question, like how he got there so quickly. He just, he gets to the heart of the matter, which is their hearts, why they are seeking him. And maybe you can read that deaconess. Yeah. Truly, truly, I say to you, you are seeking me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not labor for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the son of man will give to you. For on him, God the Father has set his seal. Mm hmm Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they, they probably feel a little bit of, uh, you know, those hunger pangs right now. Mm -hmm. and, and they want Jesus to, to be the bread factory, mm -hmm. uh, the bread king, uh, or, as, or as you like to say, a vending machine. Yes. Uh, pumping out the treats. Mm -hmm. um, and they really do see Jesus as the solution to hunger. Mm -hmm. You know, world hunger. Mm -hmm. Just to stay close to Jesus, mm -hmm. and you're going to have bread for life but jesus says that bread that they ate the previous day what kind of bread is that perishes it's perishable has an expiration date yeah it will not satisfy mm -hmm. it will continue to leave you empty hungry <laughs> that, thirsty yeah and it's kind of interesting though that they they have keyed in on their that they have an emptiness yeah. um that they have something that there's this hole that's got to get filled there's a rumbling in their stomachs, mm -hmm. or their tum-tums, as you like to say, um, that there's this yeah, empty, yeah. emptiness, so that's why they're seeking Jesus to fill it. Yep. Um, so they're looking for that, but then Jesus is going, whoa, 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 wait a second. There's something better. There's something better mm -hmm. to fill your, your rumbly tumblies. Um, and actually, you're talking to him. Yeah. <laughs> And, and, you know, we read this text, and I, I, I know my problem and, and Deaconess's problem, mm -hmm. probably your problem is not a hungry tum-tum. I mean, we, we have food galore, mm -hmm. uh, especially here in America. And, uh, you know, but we do have an emptiness. Mm -hmm. And we all experience an emptiness, mm -hmm. uh, a hunger and a thirst. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and maybe we're not looking for Jesus for bread, but, right. but there are other things we look to mm -hmm. him uh, to, to fill that mm -hmm. emptiness, that, mm -hmm. you know, to satisfy that thirst and that hunger we have. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it could be an empty, uh, I don't know, uh, calendar, mm -hmm. empty, uh, closet, mm -hmm. empty, uh, social media account. Yeah. So you have a whole, you don't have any of the likes that you want. Yeah. Or the number of friends, followers. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and empty, empty, empty life, just mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's empty of love, empty mm -hmm. of health, empty of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, joy, empty yeah. of, I mean, you fill in the blank. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of things that can mm -hmm. really get us hungering and thirsty. We know, we know that there's something missing. Mm hmm. And yep. and really, Jesus is trying to say it's not really a something, uh, but a some, someone. A someone, you yeah. know, yeah. And 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 that's where Jesus will shift their attention mm -hmm. from uh, really uh, uh, a something, but a someone, a what to a who. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he wants our attention uh, where it ought to be. Otherwise, we're going to be left with this hunger and thirst that will just continue forever. Mm -hmm. And and that's where Jesus. Uh, he says, labor for that bread that, that endures to eternal life. And then they ask, uh, you know, <laughs> what must we do to be doing the works of God? Because they don't, mm -hmm. there's no free lunch. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that he, they, they, they think they got to do maybe more prayers, more uh, syn synagogue attendance, mm -hmm. uh, more um, tithing, tithing, yeah. acts of charity, uh, you know, more uh, just, you know, good works. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's not what Jesus is saying. Yeah. He, instead of works, he changes it and focuses on uh, work singular. He says, this is the work of God, that you believe in him who, whom he has sent. Yeah. I mean, Jesus then hones in on really faith. Mm -hmm. you know, the work of God is, 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 that, is that one work that salvationally matters that, that we don't do. I can't do it. You can't mm -hmm. do it. Deaconess, she you can't know. do it. Uh, but God does it in us and through us. And he does it through his Holy Spirited, life-giving word. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and that really is brought out at the end of John 6, where everyone's leaving Jesus because he's talking in, in ways that just kind of turns their stomachs. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he asks Peter, hey, 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 you, 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 you want to leave too? No! And, 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 and he says, Lord. <laughs> to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Words of eternal life. The very words that create and sustain faith. Faith mm -hmm. that actually receives, receives, receives. <gasps> Jesus. Jesus. Yep. And, and that's really what Jesus really wants uh, the crowd and, and us to know is, uh, is, is that we feast on him by faith. Mm -hmm. and, and we get to receive uh, a bread, uh, as he says, the bread of life. That uh, that gives us, uh, you know, uh, really everything we need. Yeah. Uh, it gives us contentment. Mm -hmm. It gives us peace. Mm -hmm. It it calms all of our nerves. Mm -hmm. uh, we get a taste that everything is going to be all okay, mm -hmm. all right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we can gorge ourselves on social media, on uh, you know, sports accolades, on good grades, mm -hmm. on uh, friendship, on uh, just I mean, a, a plethora of things. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, clothing brands. But all of that is going to leave us wanting. And behind all of the thirst and all of the hunger we have is Jesus. It's Jesus. Yep. He's the one we're really looking for. And that's what he's trying to help the crowd understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's trying to get them to go, okay, look at me. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm the who you're looking for. I'm the one who actually fills you when you have me you don't yeah. you shall not thirst and you will not hunger because you've got me and i've got you you're safe and secure and i'm never gonna leave you or forsake yeah. you so i'm the one who's living i'm the living bread from heaven so if you have me you've got everything everything yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. You, know, you can have everything in the world and not Jesus and have nothing. Right. You can have nothing in this world but have Jesus and actually have everything. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. really what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, every, every day we get to wake up rich. Yeah. Richer than ever, King Solomon ever was. Yeah. <laughs> Richer than any billionaire because mm -hmm. we've got actually life himself. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We've been clothed with him in our baptism and the Lord's Supper. We get to feast on him. Uh, we get to have his word in our ears and mm. on our tongues so i mean we just get to be surrounded by life by his yeah. riches by by jesus yeah and we know he is the bread of life because he is the one who is broken for us on the cross mm -hmm. so that we can be filled and fulfilled here in time there in eternity and, mm -hmm. and he's the one that you know cries out i thirst from the cross yeah. To make it clear that, you know, he is suffering a hellacious thirst that we'll never have to suffer. We will never have to experience yeah. that, you know, that damning thirst. Uh, and, and, and we know that he is the one who suffers that thirst for all of our thirsting and hungering for stuff that will not satisfy. Mm -hmm. All the uh, idolatry that we have engaged in. 
you know, thinking that this is going to complete me. That's going to make me whole. Jesus mm-hmm. dies for all of that. Mm-hmm. And we know that his death took, that his death is that atoning sacrifice for all of our, our idolatry and, and sin. Uh, because on Easter morning, he is the loaf that rises from the grave. The wonder bread <laughs> that rises from the grave. And, uh, and he's the one uh, that, 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 that really shows us that, that, that death cannot destroy. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he's the life that, that the grave can't hold. Mm-hmm. And because we feast on this wonder bread by faith, well, what does that mean mm-hmm. for death in the grave for us? It can't win. Can't win? Yep. Yeah. It's defeated. Yeah. <laughs> There's a life in you, a life in me, a life in deaconess that can't ever die. Yeah. Unending, abundant, enough. Which, you know, Jesus pretty well said from the cross when he says in John's gospel on the cross, you know, it is finished. I am enough. Mm-hmm. You know, and he says, mm-hmm. you know, eat me, drink me by faith mm-hmm. and, and you have everything you need. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. and that's, that's really a, a recipe for a life of contentment, mm-hmm. no matter the circumstances, because then you can really live life knowing that, you know, all is going to be well. Maybe I'm not getting what I want, mm-hmm. but I'm getting what. Jesus wants me to have. Yeah, what I actually need. Yeah, because exactly. I already have Jesus. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's mm-hmm. this living, uh, trusting that this bread of life knows what's best for my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's not going to leave us uh, <laughs> hanging. No, he's not. We don't have to play hide and seek with him. <laughs> oh, praise God for that. <laughs> no running around the Sea of Galilee yeah. or wherever. <laughs> <laughs> Going, we need Jesus. Oh, <laughs> uh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, man. So, you know, there, 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 there's a prayer here that uh, that the crowd uh, utters, and I, I really like it. You know, sir, give us this bread always. Mm-hmm. And that is the prayer that we pray daily. Sir, mm-hmm. give us this bread always. Lord, give us this bread always. And it's a prayer that he is just so tickled uh, mm-hmm. pink to answer. Yeah. He'll never, ever deny you that prayer or me or deaconess that mm-hmm. prayer. He will always, always give us this this bread, which is actually himself himself so enjoy feasting on wonder bread bread of life jesus Jesus. (laughs) yeah with him you have absolutely everything everything yeah so Mm -hmm. until next time all right yeah see you later oh yeah by his wounds we are healed (laughs) until next time (laughs) bye-bye